I had a friend back in high school, and one day he told me, hey, man, if you ever want to find the right woman, you got to make sure you sleep with as many women as you can because you got to try every woman out. Make sure you test the waters before you settle down. And I remember thinking to myself and saying, that's the dumbest advice you could ever give somebody. So I threw it away. Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast. I'm your boy, LAC, and I'm happy you're here with me. Let's get into it. I was a virgin until I was 27 years old. When I met my wife and we got married, that was when I ended up having, you know, the thing, doing the do for the very first time. The fact is, being a virgin until 27 was not easy. I had opportunities and I had moments. And I want to talk to you men. I want to talk to my brothers. I want to talk to those out there who are believers in Christ. Those who may not be believers in Christ, but who feel as though they need to be out here and sleeping with women. Society would tell you, tells you if you love a woman, sleep with her. If you love her and you know you want to be with her, sleep with her. I say don't even do that. Love her, but don't ever put your hands on her. Love her, but don't ever try to sleep with her. Love her and, then, and don't go down that place of being intimate with her physically in that manner. You could be with her, you can cherish her, you can love her, you can do all the things such as showing your affection, but don't go down the place of intimacy sexually. Don't do it. The reason why I say it is because the moment you expose yourself to that, your mind is clouded. Sex is a drug. Whether you want to admit it or not, it's a drug. The moment you have intimacy with an individual, the moment you have intimacy with a woman, the way you think about them changes. Because there is a shift in how you view them. There's a shift in how you feel. And sometimes your feelings become, begin to lie to you. You think you love them, but you really don't love them. You just lust after them. And then the sex is what's making you feel more inclined to want to be with them. So I always tell people, sex before marriage is a no-go. Not only is it a sin, but it's also a good practice. Think about it this way. Why would Jesus tell us to abstain from sexual immorality? It's because he understands what it brings. I was a virgin until 27, not because I'm this guy that could just hold out. No, I, I wanted to be intimate. I desire to be intimate. I had, you know, all this energy ready to go. But God prevented me and he kept me sheltered from ever having the, from it actually happening. And I've talked to a lot of people and a lot of people who've had sex before they met their husband or their wife, they would tell me, hey, I wish I was still saving myself. I wish I never gave myself to somebody else. I wish I waited until I got married. What sex does to men, let's say you're out here, you're sleeping with so many people and you have multiple women you've been with. Now you are married. Now you're in the bed on your wedding night and you're about to be intimate with your wife. But now you're thinking about Tiffany. You're thinking, you're thinking about Linda and you're thinking about all the other people you have had interactions with sexually. You're distracted from being in the moment with your wife. Your mind is clouded of images of your past. And all these things that we go through as men, God is trying to prevent us from having to deal with it. That's why he wrote it in his word to abstain from sexual immorality. And even in the same way of pornography. And I struggle with pornography for 10 plus years. And God had to really work on delivering my mindset and, my, and, and the pictures that came to my mind. And so you think it's okay to just sleep around, but I've had conversations with real men who sometimes they feel like they've had better sex with people who are not their wives because this woman was this and more this than their wife were. And you start comparing. But imagine if you never had that opportunity to be with another woman and you saved yourself. You can only compare it to one person. And God is trying to save you from the heartache. So listen, you may be in a position where you've already been with a woman and you've been with maybe more than one woman. Is it a lost hope for you? No, it's not. God can still redeem. But you have to position yourself to say, God, forgive me, number one. I repent and wash me clean and take away these thoughts and renew my mind. How do you do that? Get into the Bible. Start reading the word of God. You can't be out here talking about you want God to renew your mind and you want to let go of the people you've been with and you don't read the Bible. And then step number two, you got to renounce every person you slept with. Go name by name, first and last name. 
If you slept with somebody named Tiffany Laquita, say, in the name of Jesus, I renounce, I sever, I cut every soul tie and every connection to Tiffany Laquita in the name of Jesus. Let every uh, intimacy and soul tie that has been formed be broken by the blood of Jesus. Because it's spiritual. But y'all don't understand that. That's why y'all just out here having as much sex as you want and you think it's play play. You think it's cool cool. But let me tell you something. It ain't, brother. It ain't, brother. And if you want to be real honest, go out there and do whatever you want to do. You're going to be miserable. I remember listening to a podcast of a man who's been with, and one day he slept with 37 women in one day. And he realized, what is life? He was miserable. Miserable. Solomon, one of the wisest men at the end of his life, miserable. He had a thousand women at his disposal, and he was miserable. But some of the most healthiest men and happiest men have one wife, one woman they've been with. And I'm a very happy man. I am satisfied. So if you want to be out here and do whatever you want to do, by far, go ahead and do it. But you are going to rule yourself into destruction. But if you're ready to say, you know what, man, I don't need to go out there and test the waters. I trust God's word, and I'm going to keep myself and save myself onto God for my wife. Then start today by confessing your sins, repenting, and renewing your mind daily and reading the word of God. And God will help to take away those thoughts and he will remove those memories. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want, to, if you want me to make more of these type of videos. Make sure to subscribe to the family. Join the family. It's your boy. I see you when I see you. It's your boy.